Now I want to show you something about grouping. I'm going to bring up my parent, who is the group lead account for the two patrons that I just grouped. And if I go to Other and Group Member Details, you can see that there are two patrons listed here. Before I take any action, I have to check a box. But let's say I want to bring up Frederick's account. If I go to the Actions menu and click Retrieve Selected Patrons, it will open Freddie's account in a new tab. And you can see that it lists his nickname as his preferred name. And it also has a little name keyword tag here that says Freddie. So again, while both aren't required, they do different things. So you may find one more convenient than the other. And if I go to other in his account and group member details, again, I see both patron accounts. Let's say I want to add a patron to this patron group. Anne has a nephew, and we're going to look him up. So I'm going to use uh, a name keyword and see if he comes up. There he is. So I'll open his record, and what I need is his barcode number. So I'm going to copy that and go back to Anne's account. Under the Actions menu, I'm going to move another patron to this group. Then I'm going to paste the barcode and click OK. And then it's going to double check with me to make sure I want to move that patron to this group. This is a nephew that lives with them, and so he's in her group. You'll see because Edgar had a fine, that information shows up in group finds on the patron summary here.